Hey everyone, bringing you this video on how to install custom tracking domain on your instantly email accounts. Very, very simple stuff and this actually ensures deliverability so it's very important that you do have a custom tracking domain. And when you don't have a custom tracking domain, as you can see, you'll have this little symbol here next to all your emails. So if you see this little symbol, it basically means that custom tracking domain is not active, which is very, very bad. So if you want to trigger this as uh, on or toggle it as on, what you need to do is you need to check it, right? So you go to settings, as you can see what I just did there, and press the gear icon, go to use custom tracking domain, and then it's going to be unchecked. So check it, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually, we use Informail. So whatever your actual host is, mine is Informail. Uh, it could be something like Namecheap, GoDaddy, Google Workspace. You go to the DNS records, the advanced DNS records, um, in the do somewhere in the domain settings in the account. Okay, and I'm just going to use Informail because it is very simple. That's why I love it, right? So right here, this is Informail. It literally sets up all of my email records for me, SPF, DKIM, DMARC, automates all of that, and gives me a private host, you know, lets me send 500 to 1,000 emails per day, no problem. So we go here, access cPanel, okay? And let me actually put in the password real quick, and then let's, let's get it going. So in cPanel, you go into cPanel, right? And you're going to go to where it says zone editor, and it basically lets you edit the CNAME record. So if you're on Google Workspace, Namecheap, GoDaddy, whatever you're on, right? You just need to edit the C name record. Okay. And the C name record, you go in here. Okay. And as you can see, you go and take the host. Okay. And you just paste it in here with a period and it will autofill the actual website, the domain for you. Okay. And then you go back to instantly and then you copy this value, right? You copy this value and you put it in just like that and you click add C name record, right? So once you add the C name record, Right, it will show up as successfully added the following CNAME record for this. Right, very very easy stuff. So you do it for all of these. You just do it for all of the CNAME records, all of the domains that you have, and you're good to go. You're basically ready for warm up. You just go back here, and this symbol should be off. Right, so all of these ones have the custom tracking domain active. Some of them don't, but most of them do. Right, and you just click the fire button, and then you're good to go. So thank you for watching the video. Hope this helped.